Well, if you thought the Hyperloop was a science fiction, then you're clearly mistaken. We are at the World Energy Congress and I am inside the prototype of the Hyperloop, which is in partnership with DP World and Virgin One Hyperloop. And today with me we have Mr. Tim Wilkinson, Vice President, Global Engagement of Hyperloop. Let's see what he has to say. So what we're inside at the moment is Virgin Hyperloop One. This is, we're inside a, a demonstration pod for Virgin Hyperloop One here at World Energy Congress. And, and this is a pass passenger system. So, so DP World Cargo Speed is a, a system that, that carries cargo at, at ultra high speed. Uh, th this system, as, as you can see, it's decked out, carries passengers at ultra high speed. We are, the, the Hyperloop is run on, on an electric system. Uh, our ambition is, particularly in, in a region like the Gulf, is to be able to use solar. Um, and, and as you'll see from this pod, there is, there is a large amount of, of exterior space uh, on the pod. That represents an opportunity for us, for example, to put solar panels on the roof that provides input to, to our energy needs. Ideally, we'd like at some point to be able to unplug from the grid so we're energy neutral. That, that's our ultimate ambition. We are, we are talking to governments in, in Dubai, in Abu Dhabi, uh, in Saudi Arabia. We'd like to see a connected gulf. We think that's an amazing opportunity. And we'd like to see connections between the cities of Jeddah, Riyadh, Dammam, Jabal, the new projects in Neom in Saudi Arabia. We'd like to see connections from Riyadh to Abu Dhabi, for example. We'd like to see connections from Eastern province to, to Bahrain. We'd like to see connections from uh, within Abu Dhabi itself, perhaps the new airport midfield terminal to, to downtown to the Corniche. We'd like to see connections within within Dubai as well. So, so intra-city connections, ultra high speed intra-city connections. Hyperloop will change the way people work, how they commute, how they live their lives because they'll be able to travel for medium range distances at incredible speed. So to get from Abu Dhabi to Riyadh for example would take you around 45 minutes to get from Dubai to, to, to Abu Dhabi would take you around 12 minutes. To get from uh, Riyadh to Jeddah would take you around 45 minutes. To get you from uh, Riyadh to Kuwait around 35 minutes. So there is no journey within the Gulf that takes more than an hour.